Today we're concentrating on, on the drop-in seat. We're using uh, zigzag springs instead of cold springs because the seat frame is not deep enough for us to actually put cold springs in. But it's actually in keeping with the age of the chair and around about the 1930s um, and it gives uh, very good support. These are held in place with these clips. These fit very simply uh, in and provide a very good amount of tension. And then there's a hole just on the top and we can fit the final nail on each. This, and then that gives a nice bit of tension across the seat. The next stage is putting the Hessian on. Um, and the reason we do this is to prevent people falling through um, the springs underneath. This is a special type of Hessian that we've done. Um, we've actually put little folds in it. And this is because the springs have some flex. We want to make sure that the Hessian flexes with the springs as well. As you can see, I'm just creating this fold. And then the next stage will be to temporarily tack that in. Um, and then afterwards, what we'll do is we'll then fold it over. And then it will be completely hammered home. As you can see, um, the seat has been stuffed and it's been covered with the calico. The tack roll at the front um, has given it a nice um, hard edge and so the next stage is to put the covering fabric on the top. Now we've cut our fabric to size, we have to make sure that it's correctly orientated um, so we've got the top of the fabric at the back and the pattern is basically running exactly from the, from the back of the chair down the middle of the seat. What would normally have happened was that we would just have put the covering uh, fabric on the top, but to meet modern fire regulations, we have to put an interliner onto the seat to protect it from fire and make it safe. So what I'm doing now, now we've got the interliner on, is we centre up the fabric and we just put in some temporary tacks and then we just need to check that it's not rucking up. Everything is smooth. And then we can slowly tension the fabric and start to put a few more tacks in between. And now all we have to do is pop the seat back in the chair. And that's the seat done.